I hate um, now that because we do these in the summer, or well, now it's getting warmer, um, and I'm like setting stuff up. I like slowly start to sweat a little bit. So when we start these, my face is just blazing right now. Oh, yeah. So, so it doesn't help. I want to turn off the light so bad. Ah, God. But, um, so, no, yeah. Um, Isaac, big news though. Um, for this uh, sticks cast, um, we got you know naturally right. We hit a thousand views on one of our videos right yeah. big stuff but we can't always have great things come uh we got our first dislike uh really? on, <laughs> what? on the uh broke back mountain review so no <laughs> i mean you know a lot of big numbers but still hold on a second hold on a second someone disliked it yep i can't believe i just can't believe this who would dislike that? I don't know. It's but yeah, we got eleven likes and one dislike. But right. hey, to the eleven of you who uh who liked it, we we appreciate it. We appreciate yeah. it a lot. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I don't. Know. I thought it was, I thought it was kind of funny though. I was like, who the fuck goes and dislikes that? But I don't know. Um, Izzy, did you get a chance to uh, play that Citizen Sleeper game or? not really yet uh not yet i just finished my exams yesterday um so i'm like now done but like i again i've just been packing and moving stuff around like we moved like all of our like you know like all of my art that was on the wall yeah um decor stuff everything that i'm i mean you know everything i'm not bringing back to the west coast um we moved to a storage locker today so it's just I've been I've been literally running around or sleeping the entire day. So uh, I have it downloaded though. So oh. very excited for that. Um, I would like to thank Steam for letting me trade my trading cards and Counter Strike Global Offensive Battle Packs from six years ago. Uh, you definitely fund it. made more money from the CS:GO skins. I was trying to tr like sell my CS:GO or my. Yeah. Uh, steam cards and those make no fucking money no it's 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 literally like four cents a card you know um and that's for like a decent card um yeah. but csgo skins yeah i mean they're a lot more profitable but at the same time you don't get those for free i think so like you know i mean i've been yeah. accumulating these trading cards since i started when did i first have steam it's got to be somewhere between fifth and seventh grade you know so i just have a lot of trading cards that i can sell so mm. Okay. You know, stacks up. No, yeah, I, I just realized I was on Game Pass. I was like, oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. I can just download it for free, technically. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, and I saw that one other thing. So are you going to be living in that same place uh, next year for senior year? or? Uh, No, we actually, so we're done with GW dorms because we fulfilled our three-year residency requirement, which is really stupid because next year they're downsizing it to two years, but whatever. Huh um so we're uh we got an apartment off campus oh that's exciting yeah nice. no, it's a really nice spot oh that's hype um oh perfect um i don't know i oh we got the community post i forgot that'd be you know our weekly uh community posts before uh the sticks cast give me give me a moment oh, give me a take your time Da, 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 da. Ba, da, de, do. Ba, da, da, da. Do, do, do. All right. So for this one, uh, we do have another question this week, Isaac. All right. We and it's back at it from Kevin. That Kevin never misses. I, I like this would be really funny for me. We just every week it's just Kevin asking. I'd be down. Here. That'd be awesome. Big, big Kevin fan, you know. <laughs> um. So Kevin says, Nils, I can't help but notice that you have a Daft Punk poster in your room. What's your favorite song from them? Also, Isaac, who is your favorite music artist? Um, oh, and then he said, to be honest, I wanted to ask a question about Shanghai Noon, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, I think that's everyone. You're speaking for everyone there, um, Kevin, but... Yeah. Um. So my favorite song. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
favorite song i mean it's anything it's really anything from the discovery album so i'm trying to choose my favorite from the discovery album um but if i had to choose uh it's probably uh digital love i think that's my favorite um not face to face really face to face is that the oh i think i know i no nah yeah no i i think i know which the, the one that is the hold on wait a second yeah no i already i didn't know exactly i mean no that that one's good i just like that one i would less put on necessarily in the car you know Mm -hmm. um okay so that's why it'd be that i mean aerodynamic is also really sick i think oh and i also have superheroes um down um i really like that but i think digital love is probably my favorite of that punks uh it just has the has the good old sound to it um mm -hmm. but yeah um isaac who's your favorite musical artist and i, I also am asking this as myself because i don't think i know either um there's a few options uh i i mean i don't know i have like a really weird music taste because i go in between like genres and subgenres like really often um so recently i've been li i've been listening to a lot of radiohead which is pretty good um tom york you know associated with radiohead as a single artist is also pretty decent um i think that uh I'm a big punk rock fan. I'm getting like get I've been getting into it a lot. Um, and so obviously you got people like Rage Against the Machine, um, you know, kind of older generation, but you know, there's a reason that everyone really likes them. Uh and then like, you know, um new age stuff. Uh I've been listening to a lot of Refused recently. Um but yeah, so I mean it's kind of all over the place. Um, but I would say currently probably Tom York. Um definitely up to interpretation now gotcha would you be mad at me if i don't know who tom york is no he, he was the front man for uh radiohead oh 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 oh, oh so okay. literally just radiohead and then radiohead so it's that simple or joji joji's just sad as shit though it's really fun you know mm. um uh, what's it what's, what's your favorite radiohead song Oh, that's a good question. Um, probably I wish I was uh bulletproof. That, that's a good one. I only know two Radiohead songs. Can you guess which two I would know? Probably creep and all I need, if I had to guess. Uh you were right in the first one, uh, not the second. Okay. Oh, damn, what what is it? Uh hold on, I actually forgot. <laughs> hold on. Is it wait, is it I wish I was bulletproof or is it bulletproof I wish I was? Uh, it's the same thing. Um what's the second one? um exit music for a film oh really okay okay no that's a that's a that's a good one um uh yeah so those, those are the only two songs i at least know but i like those pretty cool um I isaac have you, you know have you seen the new guardians movie yet i haven't i really want to though okay like, i won't say anything then yeah, um, i'm just like not i i'm so out of like marvel movies i'm really excited for the flash i i think i might oh. actually go see the flash like opening night um, oh but guardians but, is uh, actually good oh bro all right first of all the tom cruise likes the flash that should speak no i know i i know this like weird like conspiracy or uh illuminati thing going on of like being like actually this movie's like the best movie of all time but uh, all right i'm just saying like it, it it's it like in this all right sorry listen um my whole thing is like uh, well first of all obviously i'm just a I've, i grew up as a dc fan more so than marvel right so obviously mm. like bias internal whatever um but like the way i see it is like marvel at this point has just gotten so diluted because there's just way too much shit going on you know um and you know guardians i think guardians is like one of their last like key franchises that they that they really have left and i'm i'm assuming 3 is the last one um yeah i will but well yeah it's basically yeah, like yeah. you can just watch it as a trilogy now and it's like complete right. so right and like i don't really like a lot of the new franchises they're starting to 
I guess, make. Um, so, I, I mean, I just think that DC, they're, especially because they're about to you know, do the whole clean slate thing, um, I think we're going to get, like, probably a good... I would I would hope like around a good you know similar to Marvel's original time time scale up until what phase the end of phase three I think, um, I think it's going to be a good few years though for DC which I'm really happy about. I would agree um, with the good few years. I don't know if I I get it. I know that everyone's be like actually this movie's really fucking good. I think they're lying. Um, with the I mean, Flash, yeah, that, that's that um, probably happens for a lot of movies now. No, but like. I, it was I, so good oh my god dude i mean like steven like who oh my god who's the is it seth myers who promoted shazam 2 fury of the gods and he was like this looks like a great movie and it's like no well no yeah i i get well duh yeah when you have like the movie you know on the late night they can't talk shit yeah. um no i like it we literally have the same exact thoughts and then i saw guardians and i was still like cool i but yeah i don't i'm not gonna watch the rest of them i'm happy that was like as a movie Existed. Well, you're gonna watch Blade, but other than that, yeah. But I was like, I'm yeah. like, I watched that as a just movie in of itself, not as like the next MCU thing, and I was very, okay. very pleased. Uh, with the Flash, I just, yeah, I just, I, I mean, I'll maybe see it. I, I, but looks dumb. Um, sorry. It, it, look, it looks great. It looks amazing. no, it doesn't. It, it looks, looks dumb. It looks amazing. No, it's just a what Batman part of it looks trailer. Dumb? It's literally just a Batman trailer, and then it's like Michael. Which, which King. trailer are you talking about? And then like second and third one or whatever. Oh. It's, well, yeah, the big news is like, oh my god, we're you know restarting everything, so we get a new Batman, and Michael Keaton's not going to be their Batman. But like you still get to see like you know Michael Keaton. We didn't grow up grow up on Michael Keaton. That was a little before our time, um, as Batman. But like, um, you know, I just think I, it's gonna be so fun. Like I personally, I don't care about Michael Keaton at all in any way, shape, or form. But I just think it's gonna be a fun movie. I'm a big I'm, I'm a big Ezra Miller fan. Oh God, yeah, I don't know. it's just everything. And then I, at the end of the day, I'll just know it's a worse version than Flashpoint. Uh, that animated you movie. can't say oh. that though you haven't even just seen flashpoint is. i have, have you seen flashpoint yeah dude well, that's literally we, my favorite conversation isaac. about dc animated movies like, isaac. last summer and you were like i just haven't seen any and i was like fuck you isaac flashpoint is like my favorite superhero movie in general like i hope you realize that's why i do not care about this flash movie it's just like a dull version of that this is what's looking like it's gonna be and it's just like ezra miller as barry allen cool i have i've never liked ezra miller in any of the other flash or dc movies he's been in one he's been no, in he's one been, other he's movie two. he's well technically three all right yeah no we're not counting suicide squad first of all uh he's he was technically in batman versus superman on a security camera mm -hmm. and then he was in justice league we're not but counting two, he, both of the justice yeah i know we are we're just exactly. counting, all right if you want to <laughs> no He's bad in both because he's basically two different <laughs> but it's characters. The same in those. movie. Right, no, but yeah, no. But was, yeah. The Zack Snyder one was he was a lot better, right? No, um, <laughs> he was so weird. I he hated was really him. Good. He was no, really, he was, he was so amazing. weirdo. Oh, I yeah, hated no, that's him. the new meta thing, man. They got to make all the like, you know, comically charismatic like characters. They got to make them like super like socially awkward to <sighs> you know resonate with the audience. That's the new. Yeah. That's the new thing. No, I. When I when I saw Guardians, it was a bunch of trailers in a row, and I was just dying inside more. I Is always there a flash trailer. The, yeah, there's a flash watch? trailer. Oh, okay. There's a Transformers trailer. There was the Little Mermaid trailer. There was uh, the Oppenheimer trailer. There, uh, God, all yeah, those Oppenheimer all, will be good. I don't. I don't. Whatever. I am so. I'm gonna see well, Oppenheimer, but excited. I'm excited. It's no, like the I, most important person in history at this point. I get it, but like, I I'm excited to see the. I, it's more. I'm just interested to see where its take on the propaganda aspect and typically, yeah. um, Christopher Nolan is a big America lover at that. So I I we'll see. Um, I, I just think it's fun that we're making biopics for like non-pop singers anymore or music singers. It's not really pop, 
I'm just happy that we're getting like real historical figure biopics now because we're gonna get some weird shit in the next few years, Nils. We're gonna get yeah. like a Bill Clinton biopic, and it's gonna be he's gonna be played by like uh, who's the guy from um? Oh my God, who is he? Uh, you know the the person from uh, I Robot. Why am I blanking on the name? Um, the main actor, Will Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what? I Robot. No, oh, Mr. Robot. No, fuck. What's the What's the TV show? Oh, uh, you know you're talking. Um, yeah, I know you're talking about though. Yeah, played uh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Um, what's their name? Oh. One second. Oh. Who played Freddie Mercury? Uh oh, Remy Malek. Oh. Right. No, but, um, I was about to I'm say Eddie saying, Redmayne. That may, would have been really funny. We're going to get some fun shit, man, and I'm very excited. Yeah, I don't know. Do you see the new trailer? There's like Einstein. You see Einstein in it? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. It's really, really funny. funny, actually. And then Matt Damon is just like, we got to save America, or whatever. And it's, it's really funny. And then Oppenheimer's like, if we don't do it, then the Nazis will. And then it's like, um, yeah, it's a, okay. it's a trailer. That's a trailer. Okay. Um, you know, Nels, I have a question for you, and I want yeah. you to be honest. If Mark Wahlberg came out and he said that he was starring in the biopic of Jesus Christ, which is just, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would you, would you, would you watch that? Because absolutely, I would, watch I would absolutely <laughs> watch that. That'd be awesome. All right, just asking. You know, there's a Jesus Christ video game coming out, and what? you, yeah, hold on. What, I'll send you what a do you do? Um, do you like smite wait, sinners? Hold on, what? You know what? Hold on, yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can do some research right now. Um, uh, Jesus Christ, Jesus video. Christ game. Like I was on IGN I, yeah. and everything. I am yeah, Jesus yeah, that's Christ it. Yeah, Steam. there, there Dude, it is. Seven out of ten is crazy. Well, it shouldn't wait. It's not out yet. Oh, it's a prologue. Yeah, no, you do like all the big events from birth to resurrection. Become no, the you... Messiah in I. <laughs> Like you literally oh, star in the womb, God. or whatever. It's it's pretty crazy. Um, was Jesus in the Bible? Was he telepathic, or uh, what's it called when you can move shit with your mind? Oh, uh, oh, uh, telekinetic. Telekinetic, sure. Um, um yeah. Um, I, I don't know because this this game he's he's moving shit. <laughs> No, yeah, isn't this game? Are you watching the I Am Jesus Christ official trailer? IGN. Yeah, fan this is. Yeah, they just turned isn't water it, and Clyde. Right. It, it, oh, <laughs> just keep watching. It, it's so good in terms of all the. What it's the uh, hell? Yeah. Oh, and this is this is uh. What? Oh my god! Is it bad that it looks like Skyrim? No, it, it like, I mean, it doesn't look great, but it, it looks like an actual video game. You know what I mean? That's crazy. I wonder if they're going to have multiplayer. <laughs> oh, wait. And did you, no, I don't think they will. Yeah, wait, did you get to the, they have like the Last Supper in it also. Yeah. But um, that's, I can't lie. That's funny as shit. Yeah. That's no. really funny. <laughs> so, uh, damn, I wish I just screen shared it and then just, saw your reaction in the in real time but it's fine um you know i've, I've never uh i've never been jesus in a video game so this they, they really did corner the market they did um did you uh wait so with all those movies is transformers out next weekend or is that out now are you you, you don't know that that's like your Transformers. If you if what you Transformers a sticks cast movie, I'm quitting. By the way, there's no way. I'm what? Wait, I you're tapping care. out of tra- what? I don't care about Transformers. Oh I was, my! I was like the biggest diehard Transformers fan growing up. I just could not give less of a shit about Hasbro anymore. I hate that corporation. Is <laughs> it's toy evil. company. Yeah. What? Well, they're the ones who like you know authorize movie rights for their toys and shit. I like. There's there's so many things I just hate about it. Just oh, I feel like the I first hate, person that so talks shit towards Hasbro. That's nah, <laughs> you don't understand. The fumbling of the Transformers franchise was enough, and like the kid inside of me, um, wow, you know, the inner child, I guess, of Isaac was you... just like, I can't do this anymore. You're making a mockery of my life. 
uh, and I, I just don't care anymore. It's like your manifesto towards Hasbro. If you, <laughs> yeah, but let me tell you, let me tell you, my like my whole this did not like start recently. This started back. Um, do you remember Transformers? Uh, like the Dark Knight, I think it was called. It was the the last Michael. Yeah, Bay yeah, 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 yeah. Movie. The last yeah. night, the Dark Knight. Yeah, 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 it was one of them. Um, but I think it was the last night. Uh, but like, I literally i all right sorry this might require a little bit of context so i'll i'll do my best okay um i when the first transformers movie came out i was in like kindergarten or first grade or something you know i was young loved it big fan of shia labeouf love 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 yada 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 who gives a shit um and then you know they kept it going they kept it going and obviously you know as you get older you don't really give a shit anymore yeah i think you know eventually i think uh for me it was like the fourth one when like and obviously two was bad but fourth one the third one was okay and then the fourth one was the first one without Shia LaBeouf and that's when they got Mark Wahlberg and at that point I was like okay so this is just a big joke which is cool um but for the in the fifth one the last or the dark knight whatever it was um the they had an they had a post credit scene do you remember it no that, okay. not at all so if you don't if if you somehow forgot the plot of the last one is like they're trying to merge cybertron and earth or some shit um but like uh because like some, like quintessa prime or whatever um decided i i forget the exact plot it's not important but this random ass person just shows up in the middle of the desert and then she's just like talking to this dude and she, they they name dropped in order to tease for the sixth film which never happened um which is like the biggest tragedy ever they teased unicron which i don't know how much transformers lore you know knows but unicron's like this big fucking planet transformer you know like i don't know if you ever watched those cartoons as a kid metal shit for real but um so i think that when they finally did the gave michael bay's transformers the axe like they could have waited for one more movie and at that point i was uh, i was over it it was all done you but yeah well what about bumblebee I was okay. I okay. saw it. But, yeah, like, I do not voluntarily. You know? I swear, like half a year ago, you were like, I'm so excited for this Transformers. And then you're like, Optimus Ape is in it. I cannot wait. And I was like, I mean, I guess. Oh uh, no. I mean, I it, it'll be a hilarious movie. Don't get me wrong. I, it's just like I don't I I'm just so I'm it's it's been too long, man. It's been damn. Too long. Wow. Well that being said, Optimus. Uh, I think his name's Optimus Primus. Yeah. Let me check. That's what my coworker. Oh, Primal. Said. Optimus Primal. Oh, Dude, Optimus, Optimus Primal. Primal is going to be funny as shit. I cannot lie. But uh, no, I'll see it though. All right. Well, okay. Uh, should we, I should, since you'll be in town, we should just commit to the meme and do the dual premiere uh, Barbie um, Oppenheimer thing. Uh, Oppenheimer got delayed, so it's not coming out on the No, Saturday it anymore. didn't. Did it yeah, actually? This happened, like a, this happened like a month ago, man. No, hey, it didn't. Christopher Nolan, you pussy! Oh my! Also, gosh. when you're editing this, when you're editing the video, can you specific? You know how, like on YouTube, you can you can separate like the video into sections, right? And you can like, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you just have the the title of the section that I just like went on a Transformers rant for? Just yeah, yeah. Like Isaac's take on the Transformers franchise. I will. <laughs> All right, thanks, dude. Oh, Christopher Nolan's such a pussy. Really? Yeah. July 20th? Oh, my God. Bro got you know, so scared of Barbie. I mean, it makes sense. But, like, wow. I think I think the amount of people who were going to go see both of them at, on, at the, on the same day, I think that would have, like, inflated box office numbers a lot. So I don't think no, it was, it like, a competition worry. Because it, it's, it, it's becoming, like, a Minions-esque, like, trend yeah. on the internet. Oh, my. Wow. I... Dude, Christopher Nolan pisses me off in so many ways. I I swear to God, I just need to watch one of his movies again, and I'll forget it. Oh my! Also, God. by the way, we are we are we are doing that. We're doing we're doing the Barbie thing, Mills. We're, we're doing, doing Barbie. Barbie. Wait, wait. Does Barbie. Barbie come out the same day as Transformers? I'm not doing Transformers on the same day as Barbie. <laughs> no, we no, You are. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> wait. No, they both got delayed. So now they're both July twenty first. Oh, I might not. Be. No, I'll be here probably. I'll leave pretty soon after that, though. You're leaving. I'm moving, I'm, I'm moving uh, back to the East Coast late 
late July. Gotcha. July gotcha. 25th, probably. Gotcha. Um, so. Damn, everything Ooh. got moved out of... And let's check Transformers, I guess. Wow. Rise of the Beasts. And then check The Flash. Well, that'll be a Sticks cast movie. Oh. Yeah, well. oh, oh, Transformers comes out the same day as The Flash. So. Oh, Ron Perlman plays Optimus Primal. So. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, we probably should start talking about the movie. It's, I feel like it's been a, a while now. Um, welcome back. It's been 30 to, minutes talking about Transformers. Oh, uh, to Sticks Cast episode 39. Woo! All right. Today, we're Big talking. 39. We're talking about. We're talking. Um, fuck, what are we talking about? Shanghai Noon. Thank you. Um, loading i'm loading up okay oh interesting okay shanghai noon uh came out in 2000 directed by tom day um the old west meets the far east uh chong chong wang a clumsy imperial guard trails princess pei pei when she is kidnapped from the forbidden city and transported to america wang follows her captors to nevada where he teams up with an unlikely partner, outcast outlaw Roy O'Bannon, and tries to spring the princess for from her imprisonment. Isaac, what did you think of Shanghai Noon? You know, um, I'm not going to lie, Nose, I did not have high hopes going into it. <laughs> um, uh, from the very <laughs> limited knowledge I got from just you telling me about it, uh, I was like, wow, this is going to be like one of the worst experiences of my life. Um but I cannot lie to you; it very positively surprised me. I had a I had a pretty fun time with it. Um, a little racy at some points, but it's a two thousand movie. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. Um, but uh, no, it was fun. Uh, I I think that, you know, props to you for finding this. I don't know how you found it, dude. It, it, yeah, so I was gonna say because you you've never heard of the movie beforehand, no. right? Yeah, so I didn't know either, and then it showed up on my Amazon Prime like related uh field yeah. or suggested, and off the thumbnail I was like, is that Jackie Chan and Owen Wilson? I was like, yeah. it kind of looks like them, and then when I clicked it, I got so excited, especially seeing that release date like two thousand. It's like, oh, this is gonna be a gold mine of oh, a yeah. movie. Um, but. Yeah, this wasn't as bad bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I don't think it's anything that great either. Um, no, I mean it's yeah, yeah, no. Um, the two thousands buddy film, you know. Yeah. Um. What? What? If uh, what were like? What were a couple things you liked about it? Yeah. Um. I mean, for an early two thousands buddy film, you know, they had like really good set design. Like really good set design. Um, mm-hmm. costumes were pretty good too, in my opinion. Uh, effects were good. Like objectively speaking, like they definitely put some money in into into you know set design, costumes, and all the you know behind the scenes budget. So I mean that definitely surprised me. I thought that especially having Owen, I mean, this is like two thousand, right? Like those yep. are the two of the biggest stars at the time, and doing a buddy film like this, that's. They mu- I I need to find out what their budget was actually, but uh, I thought that was really impressive. Um, yeah, it was, was fun, really fun. But yeah, it was a fairly I I don't know the budget, but it felt like a, actually a fairly highly budgeted action. Fifty five million dollars. Okay, I mean that's like wait, for let me, comedy. Let me inf- hold on, wait, inflation yeah. cut because that's two thousand. You know, we're in a very different uh, we're in a different world right now. No, we are. Uh, Fifty-five. All right, so that's the equivalent of about a hundred million right now. Damn. Okay. Wow. How much money did it make, by the way? Since you're googling, let me all find that. out. It oh, it made a hundred. They re- <laughs> uh, you know they made fifty million profit. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's not bad. Good for them. Well, yeah, good for them. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. It still made some money. I mean, it it should have because there is a sequel also to this film. What? Um, so called 
Shanghai. Oh, give me a moment. I saw it popped up. Yeah, I see it right now. It was at Shanghai Nights. Yep. Um, oh, that's crazy. Is that? It's oh, I thought of... it says di- directed by David Dobkin, and I thought it said directed by David Dobrik. But oh my god, a little fingers in this movie. Aaron Taylor Johnson's in this movie. <laughs> Donnie Yen is in the movie. Oh my! Oh my god! What a cast! I don't know anyone else, but what a cast. Damn, I'm not saying I oh want to watch it, but maybe one day. I, I kind of want to watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this seems like a perfect movie for you to watch on the plane, where, you know, it's oh, like yeah. something just to turn your brain off. Then you, the best part is because Letterboxd will keep track of the movies you watch, and if there's a collection or not. So it'd be really funny. It's like you've completed the Shanghai collection. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm reading the synopsis, but yes, but I'm reading the synopsis right now. Oh mm-hmm. my god. This is crazy. Damn. When a Chinese rebel murders Tron's estranged father and escapes to England, John and Roy make their way to London with revenge on their minds. Yo. Damn. Yeah, so that's, that's the thing. Cool. How the that's fuck have we never heard of these this movie? Because like, even as a sequel, and I refuse to believe it when ex- that it exists when I click it, or you know yeah. when I clicked on Amazon earlier, and even after watching it, I I said my review like it felt like a hallucination. Like I, I, I that I did I actually watch it? Because it, it, this is a normal movie, but yeah, I don't know. It's weird, you know. Good point, um, though. Yeah. So yeah, and then I mean with what you said you liked, I think I pretty much had similar likes in terms of the set design was pretty good for action comedy. Mm-hmm. Um oh and then uh, Jackie Chan is really good in this movie. Uh yeah. that that's Sorry. the that's honestly what carries the movie for me. Um yeah. no, I agree. is his fight scenes are genuinely pretty awesome. Uh whether you have the action set piece of him with indigenous people or whatever, it's really good, really good, impressive, or the train fight scene, mm-hmm. um, or that that final battle um, between him and his fellow Imperial guards and it, the 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 manager guy. I had no clue. The like the guy that was he knew, but then now is just in Nevada owning a. Uh, labor camp I, I i had no clue who he was i don't really think they ever said that but um uh, they said he was a traitor but other than that yeah um so i don't know yeah that, that's kind of my main interest is just how insanely how much effort jackie chan is putting in and how much action there is just for this very just bleh comedy it's kind of funny um yeah. so it makes it a yeah. The like, movie doesn't necessarily waste its time, so I can It makes it worth it. I'm I'm still happy I saw it. Oh um, yeah, me too. <laughs> but I don't know. But then you know, this movie's nothing necessarily great because there's still, um, I don't know. For me, I felt like Owen Wilson wasn't really it in this movie. Yeah. He's kind of weird. Okay. Um, so it's weird when Owen Wilson's weird and you notice, you know. Yeah, he just feels very out of place. I mean, even though, yes, he's playing a cowboy in the Wild West, it's just, there's just something very off. I think this might be the worst Owen Wilson performance I've seen. Really? Um, at least from what I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's my, what the heck? Owen Wilson's in Ant Man Quantumania? Okay, sorry. Um, I didn't yeah. Movie, so I don't know. I, I haven't seen it either. Uh, but yeah, so, and then on top of that, his chemistry with Jackie Chan is dog shit. I don't, they don't really have to. Uh, yeah, I know you're right. You know, like, it, the, so, because the very thing is, is inherently this movie is a buddy action comedy. Mm-hmm. And the buddy and comedy aren't really good in this. So, that's kind of what holds the movie back for me is they don't really have very good chemistry 
Um, and the jokes are not very good. They're not even really offensive. I was expecting some early 2000s. There still are some, you know. There's a few. We'll get yeah, to that later. But um, there's all, just a lot of the humor is boring. Like, I just don't laugh. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that was supposed to be a joke. Um, so, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. So that's it's kind of the when I look at this film and how I would critique it. Is the Jackie Chan action and set piece is up here, but then you have the comedy and acting chemistry, and that just holds it down to it just being kind of just a mid. But like, yeah. you know, it's free on Amazon Prime, so it's like watch it if you want. Um, mm-hmm. Type movie. Um, did you? Uh, were there any any other negatives that you had with the movie, Isaac? Um. I mean, yeah, but they're they're more nitpicky, so you know me. Well, what okay, t- tell me. No, 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 no. Well, I just no, no, said no, no, my no, 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 no. I just said no, my no, negatives. No, 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 no. 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 I turn. actually didn't have any other problems with the movie. Though. It was a really well done movie. But what are your nitpicks, though? I didn't have any actually. No, never happened. Oh my gosh. Um, I okay. I do I have like. A couple... I, sorry, I didn't like the oh, music. Their score oh was not good. <laughs> Okay. How many times did I ask you to say the a negative? And you're like, no, no, no. And then the moment, uh, um, four. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. The the, the score. I don't even remember it. So it probably was just bad. Yeah. Oh well. Then also the soundtrack's horrible. On top of that, um, they have the Kid Rock Cowboy song, the Macau Boy Baby. Yeah. Um that ruins it um mm-hmm. by a lot yeah the music's dog shit thank you for noting yeah. that um of course that um yeah and i swear it plays the most stereotypical wild west music which i mean for a buddy action movie it's like whatever but mm-hmm. um i do have there's some funny observations and this kind of goes into the you know it's a movie called shanghai noon um you know early 2000s i have a couple um one being why would a princess so there's a big thing of the princess it says she gets kidnapped to the wild west which is not true she goes she escapes well no she escapes to the west she wants to go to america but like it was under false pretenses well yeah technically she was kidnapped she was definitely kidnapped but what were her pretenses? Because that's that's my first thing. Probably that she wasn't going to be held hostage, if I had to guess. Hell, oh, oh, so she didn't have to like marry the those boys or whatever they right. showed in the beginning. Yeah. I okay, so you're right. But it is funny then. Okay, this makes a bit more sense. Okay. My initial thing I wrote to him, I was like, why the fuck would a princess of, you know, the world's biggest empire, right, mm-hmm. yep. <laughs> go to 1880s Nevada? Um, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah no, I, I, I definitely agree. <laughs> so it's uh, it and, not the move I would make. And so I get maybe she was, you know, tricked from the, you know, that guy. You know, under false pretenses. Even, what, what was he British? I I don't even. Remember. Yeah, I don't even know what it was. But it's like, come on, Let, let's come on. The movie's really stretching it to get a, you know, a very important Chinese princess to the <laughs> Nevada, Carson City, Nevada. Um, right. Which I think this is the first movie I've watched where Carson City is a important destination. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Um. Oh. Okay, I don't know if I'm saying that one. Uh, no, say it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Say it, say so it. I also just might be wrong with U.S. history. I'm going to Google it again okay. really quick. Um, Isaac, uh, fill in for me while I do a quick amount of research. Yeah, so we had the NFL draft. Um, a few things happened. Uh, most notably, um, the Falcons got B. John Robinson. Which uh very big move. Um selected eighth overall. And they could have had Jalen Carter. So, you know, being a Falcons fan, ba- a Falcons bandwagon fan, this was gonna be a little difficult. 
But uh, you know, I'm still excited for the NFL season. I think we have oh, God, how many how long is it until the regular season? We have about 115 days last time I checked, um, until the regular season. So very exciting. Um, you know, Ooh. uh it's it's football time at all times, right? Yeah. Um Wait, yeah, Isaac, you back? But, yeah, yeah, I'm back. Also, right. the, table the NFL. We'll do a quick little NFL, I think, after movie, if you have time. Uh, I have an interview in 20 minutes, so I'd probably Oh, okay. It. Probably not. But, all right, all right, all right. Um, so, okay, I did research, and I, I'm kind of wrong. So, what oh. year did this movie take place? Did it have 1881. a specific... 1881. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was wrong. So... Because so when I'm thinking 1880s, I'm also thinking U.S. Chinese Exclusion Act, okay, right? And so I was like, how the fuck, you know, were they there? I swear, like, but then the U.S., that act uh, was in the spring of 1882. So yeah. the movie, <laughs> it uh, got away with having the correct year. Um, One so, year off. Yeah. So close. Oh, Isaac, I wrote down in my notes. I said this score. What the fuck? So I, the, you yeah. know, um, yeah, no. Um, oh, did you, another one, there was like a joke about the guards being Jewish. Did you get that at all? Nope, I didn't. I, I, I really did not. I was very confused. <laughs> um, but, you know. That made no yeah, sense. Know. Yeah, that's like the jokes. I feel like it, compared to other movies we've watched of, you know, these, you know, problematic 2000s comedies. Right. This one is more, it's just the jokes are just so bad that they're not even problematic because they're just mm-hmm. really. They're just stupid. Yeah. Lame. No, I agree. Um. Yeah. Um. Oh, and then. uh this movie has the classic trope of the uh, miscommunication uh, mm-hmm. where a character overhears another, you know, it, it's like, a, they, oh, they're at odds. And then once they're buddies, yeah. they hear one of the characters saying something out of context. Um, and this movie has like the laziest version of that possible. Um, mm-hmm. So there's that. Oh, and then <laughs> this movie really ended with a blooper reel. Uh, I thought that I like that though. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of these, like, because that reminded me a lot of like the bloopers you would see from Rush Hour, right? I had a lot. Oh, of okay. I've never seen Rush Hour, so you've never seen Rush. Oh, guess what we're doing next week, Isaac? Would you believe this is the second Jackie Chan movie I've ever seen in my life? You only this is what was wait what was the first one? Do you want to know? Well, I just oh, asked. Wait, I didn't know Jackie. Ch- okay. Interesting. Okay, there. Um, no, that's crazy though. Jackie Chan, like one of the biggest, probably I would say like top two, top three movie stars of our generation. Well, no, I'm gonna find significant it. margin too. Like it is. I didn't realize he's in all the Bruce Lee movies, so I think I've seen him in one of those. Uh, hold on, it's coming. It's it's gonna be there. Okay, I don't. I can't find it, but it's the one where he's a babysitter. Oh, you lost me, but uh, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jackie Chan, babysitter. The Spy Next Door. Never saw it. Damn. Anyways, that was the first ever Jackie Chan movie I've seen, and it has 12% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um not, yeah. not not great, but that's great. that's really surprising. Yeah, we'll 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 get. I don't know if we'll do it next week, but we'll get rush hour. In. Yeah. Um. So, do you have any other kind of observations or anything you wanted to know? Three stars. Three stars. Yeah. I had it at three, then I lowered it to two and a half, and then I yeah. saw yours, and I was like, you know what? Three. Why not? The action is really it good. Was- yeah, I would. I definitely would say, like, on the spectrum of you know buddy comedies, it like it was better than average. So yeah, well, this had like this is the least weighed three stars I think I've ever given. Yeah. It's not like I was disappointed. I was just like, oh, yeah, uh, it's a movie. Yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah. Awesome. How about you? Do you have any uh, any closing thoughts you'd like to share? Um. Everyone. No, not really. I and I don't know what movie we're doing for next week, but that... what, a, what a calm, what a calm ending. Yeah, you know yeah. nothing. 
Hold it all no, together. Yeah, nothing crazy. Um, may, maybe we'll do an in-person six cast next week, Isaac. Maybe. Sure. So we'll see. Um, all right. Well, with that, um, and you already said your final thoughts, so I'm not going to ask you for your final thoughts. Instead, um, I'm going to say goodbye and have a great weekend.